All right, so we're gonna go to the garden and see what's fresh. This kale looks absolutely fantastic. This is an heirloom lacinato kale. Beautiful kale leaves here. So certainly one of the great things about having a garden, whether it's a full acre of organically farmed garden like we have here or not, is that you, you don't have to drive anywhere to get the, your fruits and vegetables and it takes very little effort to grow carrots, to grow parsnips, to grow kale. You can save a lot of money, you can have a lot of great fantastic local seasonal organic produce and oftentimes I find that we crave certain fruits and vegetables when they're in their season. Things like asparagus you really want in the springtime. So now we're back in the kitchen and what we want to focus on is how we want to prepare this. We want to do kind of an everyday dish or do we want to do something very complex? I like to remove the majority of the inner ribs if they're uh, firmer, longer ribs and, and the kale leaves are more mature. So we'll go ahead and just trim those off. Uh, and then we're left with the beautiful leaf itself. I like the idea of blanching kale in a little bit of uh, heavily salted boiling water for a couple reasons. It draws out a little of the bitterness that kale is known for, as well as keeping the kale greens very, very bright and green once we've taken it out of the boiling water uh, after about two minutes and shocked it in ice water just to cool it down. From that point, all we're gonna do is dry the kale out. We're gonna chop it lightly. Uh, we're gonna use some wild mushroom, and so rendering off a little bit of applewood smoked bacon, using that fat to actually cook our mushrooms. It's of course salt and pepper. And then we'll add in our uh, blanched and dried kale. Kind of coat that a little bit, finish it with a little bit of Spanish olive oil just at the end. Kind of bring some richness into the dish. Bring some of that um, kind of herbal, spicy, bitter, buttery qualities that the Spanish olive oil can bring to a, to a side like this kale. Uh, and we'll go ahead and serve that.